Everyone loves that thrill of the hunt. You go out, you scan a random item in the store, anxious anticipation that screen's gonna turn green and show some crazy high profit number. The thrill of the hunt is really what drives a lot of people to start selling used books on Amazon in the first place. But when it comes to repricing those items that have gotten stale in your inventory, that's not nearly as fun for any of us. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how the new and improved new price, uh, you can help you reprice your inventory quicker uh, with fewer blind spots, leaving you guys with more time to go out and find more inventory. So let's get started. What's going on everyone? My name is Matthew Osborne and in this video we're going to be diving into the new and improved new price software to show you how it will speed up your workflow to increase your sales and allow you guys to spend more time uh, or spend less time repricing and more time finding more inventory. Be sure to subscribe below to not miss future videos just like this. Let's start out with step one. First, we need to ensure you're using the correct version of New Price. So right now we have two different versions of New Price. We have a public version and we have a beta version. The beta version simply means it's newer and still in testing. This may mean there are a few bugs in there uh, that need to be worked out, uh, but it is the newest version. And today we're gonna be talking about the beta version. To download this version, first you'll wanna uninstall the current version you have on your Mac or PC if you already have one. After you've uninstalled, head over to newprice.co forward slash beta, B-E-T-A, to download the beta for PC or Windows. Now on to step two, you're gonna launch new price and simply sign on to your Amazon account. You might be prompted for your license key as well. Uh, this can be found in the email you received at sign up or if you don't have that email anymore, just shoot me an email at support at newprice.co along with the email you used when you signed up and I'll send over your license key as soon as possible. Now that we're logged in and everything, step three, let's dive into those new features. Feature number one, a brand new and beautiful rear end, I mean back end. Uh, new price was released. We've simply rebuilt the code base for new price. Now you as a user, it won't look like much has changed, but if you look at it like a car, uh, we've got a new engine, a new transmission, a new drivetrain. Everything has pretty much been completely rebuilt from the ground up. So it means a faster application. It means it's much quicker for us to add new features in the future, meaning a better user experience for you. And before we move on to feature number two, head over to the Facebook group for new price. It's linked below in the description. Join that group and then be sure to ch thank Chad Valentine uh, for the painstaking hours he's put in to rebuild this application. All right, now on to feature number two, eScore has finally been added, and you can see this under the rank on every single product. If you're new around here and you're not quite sure what eScore is yet, here's a five second breakdown for you. eScore is simply a number that shows how many days in the past 180 days a product has received at least one sale. For example, an eScore of six, uh, means it's selling roughly once a month, while an e-score of 151 plus means it's selling almost every single day. All right, feature number three, your product is now highlighted in the MF or FBA column to show you where you stand. This is huge for helping you reprice. One of the ways I use this is to speed up my workflow significantly when I'm looking at my old inventory. With old inventory, I'm trying to sell it as quickly as possible, so I always wanna match the lowest FBA price or around there, uh, which also almost happens to always be the used buy box. I can now do this much faster by simply scrolling down the list and I can instantly see which items are the lowest and which items I am not. All right, feature number four. Uh, we have nuked the notorious load more button. This is huge, and for those of you that are veterans of new price, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The load no more button has basically been a nightmare. In theory, it was supposed to help you when you got to the bottom of the page, you simply click it and more items load up for you. Well, it didn't actually end up happening. What actually ended up happening was it made the list longer and longer and longer, and it forced the application to eventually become overloaded and slow everything down. Uh, this sucked for user experience, as I'm sure a lot of you guys can attest. Now, we have pages at the bottom, uh, which basically means you can go to the bottom of the page and you can simply click the next page. You can skip five pages, you can go back one page. You can pretty much do whatever your heart desires now and the program will continue to be snappy for you uh, and load a lot quicker than it did before. Finally, feature number five is actually not a single feature, but a call out of a few smaller but useful additions we've added to a new price. So first we added the ability to have Chart IQ instead of Keepa. If you're a subscriber of Scout IQ, you can turn this on in the settings at the top right of new price. It'll have you log into Scout IQ and then you can see Chart IQ on 
new price instead of Keepa. This will work a little bit differently than you're used to. The pros of using Chart IQ will be you don't have to pay an extra subscription to Keepa just to see sales rank. Uh, and the chart is completely interactive, meaning you can scroll back and forth, see any of the prices you want to see. The downside, however, is it's going to take a moment longer to load and you might need to click off the chart uh, to close it rather than simply hover off like you can with Keepa. The choice is now completely up to you though whether you want to stick with Keepa or move to Chart IQ. Second feature is you want to adjust the font size. We now have the ability to do that. We've had members ask about this since the very beginning. So now not only does new price use your entire screen, you can also adjust the font size within the settings page at the top right hand side of the application. And then third, lastly, you can now turn off columns you don't want to see using this handy little box at the top right hand corner. I really hope these updates will give you guys a faster and more enjoyable repricing experience. But even more than that, uh, this new build will help us to give you guys improvements much faster in the future. Thank you guys for sticking with us over the past few months where I'm sure it seemed like not much was really getting done. I hope you guys enjoy this newest version of New Price. And before you guys go, I want to leave you with one last tip. If you're having trouble using New Price or you need help, you want to report a bug, anything like that, simply right click the logo in the New Price application and send us a support ticket there instead of through email. This will send us your error logs as well so we can help you solve your problem that much quicker. Thank you guys for hanging out. Remember to join the New Price Facebook group below and I will see you next time. Thank you.